Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be covering five different ways to make money in Sneaky Sasquatch. Most of these methods are pretty easy to do, except for a few of them are a little bit more challenging, so keep that in mind. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe, because we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and with your help, I believe we should be able to do that. Without any further ado, let's go make some money. If you're really, really low on cash and just need a quick couple coins to either buy some food or something like that, I'd say just go do a little bit of fishing. It's really not going to earn you a whole lot of coins, but there are a few places that are better for fishing than others. For example, if you head over here to the third campsite and heads down this little river, you'll come to this little area, and if you notice there's a really big fish in the middle, that is the legendary sturgeon, and if you catch him, you can sell him to bear for about 125 coins. The other place you can also head off to is this log that's on the way to the ski resort. If you head in here, there will be a goldfish that spawns every other day, and if you sell him, he's worth about 200 coins. Now, if you're looking to really maximize your profits, I would suggest throwing him in a trash can and taking and selling them to trash bear for double the profit. Another good way to make money with fishing is by talking to the old fisherman located by the lake. He will give you a certain amount of coins for each new fish you bring him. So once you bring him a fish, he will not accept that fish anymore. So if you haven't turned any fish into him yet, I would suggest doing that. This is also where you get the big fishing rod to catch the big fish. This next method is boat racing, specifically the Paddler's Cup. Now, I personally believe this is one of the better methods of actually gaining money. Now, for some of you, this could be a little bit annoying to set up if you haven't done any boat racing, but I'll walk you through it. First thing you're going to need to do is head on over to the island. Go ahead and head into this red building and talk to this lady over here. This is where you can obtain your boating license, and once you've completed the training, you can head back to the marina area, which is just below the town if you're not sure where that is. Go inside the boat shop, and you can buy your first boat. Now, it is a little expensive but don't worry you'll pay that off in no time once you purchase your boat i would highly recommend going and upgrading it to the max maybe a little expensive but trust me it's worth it because if you have the maxed out boat you can literally win every single race with complete ease like it is literally about impossible to lose i mean your grandma could win this race the race only takes about a minute and 15 seconds to complete and each time you complete it you get 350 coins which is a pretty good deal so if you enjoy boat racing i'd highly recommend checking this out for the next method is more of a one-time only deal. This is what I like to call phone numbers, which were basically a part of, I believe, a scavenger game that the developers added in a while back. These numbers can basically be found all over your world. There's a total of six. They're listed on screen now, and they're also in the description below. Once you call these numbers and get the money, you can no longer call them and get any more money from them. So they're only a one-time use, so you can get a quick 600 coins. So if you haven't done this yet, go ahead and just call them. Get your 600 coins. I mean, it's literally free money. And now for a rather exciting announcement. I have merch. I've been working on this for the last couple of months, and the one thing I was really worried about was the hoodie, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. It's super soft and is great for just lounging around in. So, if you want to represent the channel a little bit, go ahead and hit the link in the description, head on over, and pick yourself out something. Anyways, let's go make some more money. And for the next money-making method, we are looking at the delivery service. Now, this is something that I often overlook, and it's actually quite a good way to make some coins. If you just if you enjoy just driving around the world with Sneaky Sasquatch, and you want to get paid for it, then honestly, check this out because this is a very good method for you then. If you're not sure where to start, get started, all you have to do is hit, act like you're heading into town, turn down here, and pull into this building where it says Express Delivery. Just walk inside, talk to the person with the exclamation mark above their head to get started. You'll get to drive all over the place with these people and you get paid for it, which is really cool. There's no set amount of coins that you get paid for like each mission, but you can get paid upwards of 500 coins on someone, which is pretty neat. The only downside of this method is the fact that most deliveries have to be completed by a certain time, and if you you don't complete it before that time then you fail that mission which is more inconvenient than anything else really so just when you're doing this make sure to keep an eye on what time it is so i'd highly recommend going and getting a watch now for the most difficult money making method that we have i am of course talking about stealing money from the port and before you can actually go ahead and start stealing from the port there are a few things you're going to need to do first off you're going to need to be able to get the junior supervisor and by doing that you're going to have to go to the port and you're going to have to complete every single job available and you have to max all of those out once you've done that and unlock the sport clip you are free to proceed to this method and to get started you want to head to the port and you want to go to work the job you want to do is secure cargo something it's either loading or unloading doesn't matter select that when you get in you're going to have this stuff up here unlocked and when you go to take the money back in drop the money off and then go around here to the side where you see these two little things that are covering the little manhole you want to make sure to move those out of the way once you've done that go ahead and complete the rest of that mission because that's all you need to do after you've done that you want to go ahead head inside and check upstairs in the filing cabinet until you find the secure warehouse 
two code. Now this changes every day, so you will need this every single time you go and try to steal money from the court. Make sure to remember that code because it's very important. Also something to note, make sure to go and actually move the security cameras beforehand. Just make sure to move the secure warehouse to security camera. That's, that's very important. Make sure you do that. It makes it a lot easier if your forklift is parked on the inside. You don't have to, but it's just a little more annoying. Once you've done that, go ahead and maybe drink some energy drinks or something and wait until 10 o'clock at night. Once it's 10 o'clock, go ahead and head on up to the secure warehouse 2 manhole and climb out. Once you've climbed out, you want to head over to the secure warehouse. Make sure you don't get spotted. Punch in the code, go inside, and open up the main doors. Once you've done that, wait till this guy's out of the way. Run over, open this gate, and run to your forklift. Once you're at your forklift, drive your forklift back over and wait until this guy isn't looking. You might just have to go ahead and drive right by him. If you're fast enough, he won't notice. Uh, just, just make sure you don't get spotted. Once you're inside, go ahead and grab two crates of coins. That's the max you can carry, sadly. And then go back and wait until he's out of the way and then quickly drive past him. And head back down towards the front entrance. Make sure to park a little ways before this guy. Get out, run over here to the electrical box, turn it off. That way, this guy will have to run over and turn it back on. Now, while he's distracted doing that, go ahead and drive to the front gate. Don't drive all the way up, though. Park a little bit behind. Next, you're gonna have to sneak inside to the gate control access area. Now, make sure you are sneaking. Make sure to sneak over to the one on the left side and hit the button and make sure to sneak back out. This will open up the gate, which will allow you to drive through. Once you get the gate open and you're back to your forklift, drive through and literally peg it as fast as you can and just book it for home. Do not stop until you get there. You may have a little bit of an issue with someone trying to stop you on uh, as soon as you leave, but if you get past them, you'll be fine. Now, all you have to do is head on home, go to the ducks, and they will crack it open for you and you'll get a few thousand coins for your effort. Now, the sad thing about this is once you do this method and you go back to the port the next day, port is on lockdown for nine days, which means you literally cannot access anything in the port in that amount of time. So that is one thing that does kind of suck about this, but hey, you know, you got a few thousand coins out of the deal. It's up to you to decide if it was worth it. So that was five different methods to make money in Sneaky Sasquatch. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe because we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you'd like to check out a few more ways to make money, I recommend watching this video right here.